ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the third day of January, and cold is still the word, although we are above freezing in most spots today. Let's go to some Skycam shots coming from the ABC 3340 Skycam Network. There's a look at the uh, Birmingham camera looking north the top of the Daniel Building. A few high cirrus clouds around today, and hey, we're above freezing. Uh, Birmingham below freezing for a little over 36 consecutive hours. How about that? Here's a look at our Demopolis sky cam from the uh, Demopolis Civic Center. Of course, down below the water of the Tom Bigby River. And up the river, there's a look at the uh, Tuscaloosa sky cam. In fact, that uh, bridge, that uh, railroad bridge there, crossing the Black Warrior River there between Tuscaloosa and Northport. Well, the trough is off the east coast. The cold air, of course, is in place. And uh, we note those high clouds moving in from the west. We wonder if just maybe they might have a little effect on temperatures tonight. But more than likely, they will stay thin and uh, will stay generally clear. So maybe not. Surface high sitting right on top of us. So it, temperatures will drop like a rock. Once the sun goes down tonight, that's a 1,040 millibar high right overhead. And assuming those high clouds don't have an impact, uh, we'll see temperatures down around 20 and teens are likely for the valleys. In fact, some East Alabama communities could be just as cold as last night. So the third hard freeze in a row coming up. And boy, check out that uh, occluded wrapped up storm approaching the northern Pacific coast out there. That will bring our next chance of rain the middle of next week. Temperatures cold over the east, cold in Florida, freezing down to Orlando, Tampa, Daytona Beach this morning. And uh, we notice a little tongue of milder air coming up into the Dakotas. you got some mid-40s up there. In fact, it's uh, warmer in parts of South Dakota than in Birmingham today. But again, that new trough out west will bring a lot of mountain snow and valley rain out there. You'll see that as we uh, go along. Uh, here's the QPF map. This is the expected rain through Tuesday morning of next week. And again, the uh, numbers are pretty remarkable out there on the uh, California coast. Uh, eight to ten inches of rain out there and a foot of rain around the Sierra Nevadas. And that would, of course, equate to about 120 inches of new snow out there. And over the Rockies, uh, big snows and uh, valley rain. Very unsettled period. And again, as that trough lifts out... The guys at HPC have defined a, a severe weather risk uh, for early next week off to the west of here, and a lot of questions remain about how that thing comes out. And the 12Z run here has just made more model madness, as you'll see. This is the 12Z GFS valid at noon tomorrow. You can see our system in the Pacific Northwest. Other than that, the flow has gone zonal across the country, which means a warming trend coming up for us. There's a surface chart. Uh, the surface high by midday tomorrow should be near Columbia, South Carolina. So after another hard freeze early in the day, we should climb into the 50s tomorrow afternoon. Saturday starting off the weekend, uh, partly sunny. A good chance will be close to 60. And we do note the uh, showers northwest of here, but we still think Saturday will be dry. Pretty much the same deal Sunday. The warming trend continues. Mid-60s are likely Sunday with the better chance of showers north of here. And note the uh, milder air streaming up into Chicago and Detroit, Indianapolis, places like that. They'll get a nice little thaw going. Monday of next week, here comes our western trough. And I'll tell you now, this run really has a different look with that thing, as you'll see as we go along at the surface on Monday. Again, a southerly flow here, but there's just not much of a trigger for rain. So I think Monday stays dry, a mix of sun and clouds with mid to upper 60s. Uh, Tuesday, the surface low with the trough is up there near Duluth, Minnesota, with a trailing front down to about Little Rock in Houston. And that would suggest showers and thunderstorms uh, off to the west on Tuesday. And look at Wednesday. Uh, for about the past four runs, the GFS has shown a very strong negative tilt shortwave trough rotating through here Wednesday. Well, on this run, it's gone. I mean, there's still a trough that's coming on by, but it's weak. The main core of it's way up north, and that creates a whole different solution. Instead of one inch of rain, uh, this is suggesting just a band of light rain showers, Tuesday night or Wednesday, and that's it. So uh, for now, we consider this an outlier. We're not going to change the forecast based on one run. We'll take a look at future model data, but just be aware 
a little model madness is creeping in. And then Thursday of next week, uh, really no cooler air involved. In fact, uh, uh, we still have a southerly flow here, if this is right, and that's a big if. Now, let's go into voodoo land, what do you say? This is what everybody's talking about. The uh, 12Z GFS continues the idea of an incredibly deep trough west of the state on the 13th of January. At the surface, we've got a uh, surface load developing in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico with a big snowstorm going on for Tennessee and Mississippi and northwest Alabama. And on to the 14th, the surface low moves on to the northeast. The rain changes to snow here. That would suggest a, well, another whopper of a snowstorm, if this is right. And then on the 15th, the surface low is up there over eastern Canada with very cold air in place. And the snow lovers will love this chart. This is the snow cover coming off the 12Z GFS valid uh, uh, at 6 o'clock in the evening on, on the 14th of January, which is the same as OZ on the 15th of January. Uh, that's showing one foot of snow on the ground in Birmingham. Are you kidding me? How about a blizzard of 08, huh? Uh, in fact, that, that shows like uh, one foot of snow there from Jackson to Huntsville to Nashville, all the way up to Pittsburgh and Buffalo. Needless to say, this is absolute voodoo at this point, but there's been great run-to-run consistency, and all we can do is wait and watch. Can it happen? Certainly. Will it happen? I don't know, and nobody knows. And then on the uh, 19th, at the end of the cycle, here comes another uh, really active coal-looking pattern there for uh, much of the country, big uh, ridge pumping up over uh, Canada and Western uh, or Western Canada and Alaska, driving cold air down and through here, and that uh, that kind of pattern right there will suggest uh, storms and rumors of storms. So once again, looks like it's going to be a lot of fun and games here in the weather office for the rest of this month for sure. That's it for the afternoon weather extreme video today. We'll have uh, a new one on here by tomorrow morning at seven. And as always, we invite you to read along on the blog, alabamawx.com. That's if you're accessing this by iTunes or YouTube. And uh, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.